Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I'm out on another walk. Today I'm on my Blue Plaque Trail in Worthing in West Sussex, and I'm looking for the Desert Quartet at Liverpool Ter Terrace. And I'm starting at Ambrose Place, where in my previous video um, I looked at Harold Pinter's uh, residence from 1962 to 1964 and I'm going south towards Montague Street from Christ Hospital Church which is behind me down on this very very quiet morning past Humphreys Road here and approaching a beautiful old school that used to be a gym this rather amazing house Look at that standalone villa, beautiful walled garden, some beautiful property here, and then lots of different um, different types of Victoriana here. And then you've got this what used to be the school. I knew it really as Reps Gym. There used to be a gym in there. Now I believe it's all flat. It's a magnificent, if somewhat gothic type of building with all that flint and pointed apexes of the roofs it's fascinating and here look look how how tall some of these houses are and sort of dwarfed here Christmas cottage this one it's a beautiful name all sorts of different bits of industry in here. Spells. Now I remember, I'm just ducking in here for a second, I remember this being, I can't remember what they did. Somebody will tell me what spells did. But, but now, like so many of these places, it's a gated community. But when I used to go to reps, it was, um, oh, I'm trying to remember what it was. It's so frustrating. But there was some form of industry going on in there. I can hear the sound of children playing. And we'll head down here past Christ Church Hall, another, another church, or at least the hall of a church, I suppose. And on this side, some very old buildings, including a particularly old pub, the Hare and Hounds, which um, used to do, I swear it still does, it's just not open anymore, lots of real ales and some good food. I'm heading down to Liverpool Terrace um, and we want to have a look for the, the Fink heads. These are bronze sculpted heads which were sculpted in 1990 by Dame Elizabeth Fink. They've got a grade two listed um, uh, grade two listed, grade two listing. Thank you. It is early in the morning. Brain's not working. Let's go past the Supps Sports Cafe. Used to, for many years here, sell cars. I bought a, a second-hand car here. Gosh, I forgot about that. And coming now towards Liverpool Terrace is a beautiful terrace of houses. On the left there's an opticians in one of these on the left hand side that I used to go to and get my dailies and things like that very expensive if I remember but I was recommended to them some time ago so what we're going to do is we're going to walk up Liverpool Terrace a lot of solicitors and that sort of thing as you would imagine in these fine Georgian properties I believe this was, um, these were built in 1830, but they are rather, they are rather magnificent with their very beautiful windows, sash windows, all this ironwork, balconies, and uh, the sort of, um, well, bays to them, like bay windows, the sort of, uh, well, it's very Regency, isn't it? And. The, the opposite the terrace is this garden here with this magnificent horse chestnut Let's have a peek 
we'll go and have a look in the garden in a minute. It's very, very quiet, which is why I'm speaking in a slightly hushed voice. You can imagine these big houses. The, uh, the servants, the, uh, the gentlemen and ladies living here in all their finery. And beyond the other side of this, um, this tree here, which is a whole oak, we get the sea and this is Montague Street just beyond main shopping drag that it is now. But let's cut through, let's cut through here and we see ahead of us the Desert Quartet as it's known by Dame Elizabeth Fink, CBE, 1930 to 1993. And there's a little bit of information here which is quite handy because it says Elizabeth Fink was an internationally acclaimed artist who helped redefine British sculpture during the second half of the 20th century. These heads are hers. And we'll just have a brief, a brief look. Behind here is um, a bit of a shopping centre um, but here are the heads. Personally, I think they're ugly things. I can't get any closer, I'm afraid. I didn't bring my other camera, but I'll pan past them. There's four of them, hence quartet. But I don't like them very much. I don't quite know why they've got uh, grade two status, but there you are. Um, but we can see the terrace here a, a lot better. And then this little parkland, which must have been so they could perambulate with their with their old-fashioned prams and that sort of thing. There's that rather magnificent sweet chestnut tree, which must have been here, probably planted in 1830, I imagine. And I'm now standing by one of my favourite types of tree, a London plain, next to all this um, spotted sorrel. And on the other side, I think these are, I don't know if these are genuine or imitation buildings, actually. I imagine they must be the same. To be honest with you, with you I've never overly looked at these buildings. I've always looked at them on the other side. hear the, the chimes of, uh, I guess that must be um, the town hall chiming there. We'll come back through what I think is box. Is it all privet? This, this funny little stuff here. And then go past this very lovely holm oak, this one here. Again, that must have been planted in 1830, I reckon. Beautiful tree. And the nice thing about coming out at this time, of course, is there's nobody about. Normally you get all the, all the shoppers and the, the workers and what have you. Just got this little area of pleasure to myself. And you can almost imagine what it must have um, felt like back in the day. To finish off my video, I'm just going to take a walk back up Field Row. I love this. Again, I guess it's a twitten. I'm not sure. Right, let's just have a look at these rather beautiful um, flowers here. I don't know what they are. Somebody will know. Underneath another sweet chestnut. Um, horse chestnut. Did I say sweet chestnut before? I probably meant horse chestnut. Conquer tree. Conquer tree is what I meant. Yeah, I love this little field row. It's a quiet, old pathway. Leads back up to Ambrose Place and Harold Pinter's old abode. And I suppose you could imagine him sauntering down here to the seafront, perhaps to buy a paper and read what's going on in the world and observing people. And the nice thing about this little field row is at the back of buildings and I think the back of buildings are quite interesting. The 
this is the back of Christ Church Hall apartments that we saw on the way down the church hall it is rather lovely sadly on the opposite side this massive load of flats which I think gives you the uglification of England everywhere as Benjamin was it uh, Benjamin Britten uh, somebody who termed the uglification word I know um, JB Priestley's used it too so let's not look at that empty cash boxes that's odd isn't that odd presumably stolen and dumped here by felons thieves crooks and you can imagine down these dark alleys in times gone by all sorts of dodgy dealings have happened but anyway let's not worry too much about that as we come back up towards Ambrose place and my starting point thank you so much for watching um, that's another bit of a lame video really but another exploration and um, I will catch you out and about on another one on another occasion till that time don't forget to follow like and subscribe become a patron support what I do if you can give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one bye bye